doing the ultimate spicy snack taste test. We've come up with the spiciest snacks that money can buy. We've got 10 snack items in increasing levels of heat, starting from kind of spicy. Oh, wow. To super f***ing hot. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. oh, So let's get started. Let's start with the flaming Hot Cheetos. Oh yeah, everyone's like, yes, I want those in my own mouth right now. Bone apple tea. Mm. Come on, these are delicious. Totally tolerable level of spice. Delicious. Anyone who thinks these are actually spicy, they're lying. They know that this is not very spicy, but it's delicious. The best part about flaming Hot Cheetos is you get that flaming Hot Dust right on your fingers, and you go, that's like direct spice dust to my face. This was high currency in the lunchroom when we were growing up. This was like owning the national mint of snacks. If you had this in your lunchbox, you could trade for anything. You got Chester. Look how fucking cool he is. Hanging out, breathing fire. I'm not saying I'm attracted to him, but like, he could get it. Let's bump it up to Takis. I never had Takis, so I don't really know what the big deal is. I feel like white people only discovered these like Three years ago, we've been sleeping on them, but that's that's what white people do. Whoa, it smells kind of like I got a little too saucy at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little tube. Check it out. Whoa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, oh, wow. Mm. Holy guacamole. Oh, imagine this with guacamole. Can you? <laughs> Look at that crunch. I was like, boom. This is up there with the flaming Hot Cheetos. So someone's got the flaming Hot Cheetos, you come in with the Fuego Takis, now we're talking business. If I remember correctly, they had to ban these in some schools because kids were getting genuinely addicted to them. They're just like, you have one and it burns, but then you're like, I, I need more. Oh, yeah. All right, Becky, you've earned a new snack, but don't eat all these. I, I want more of these. These are, these are good. Up next, Pulparindo. Puparindo. Pupalin, Puparindo. Pronunciation? Puparindo, Puparindo, Puparindo. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah! It's extra hot and salted tamarind pulp candy. Ooh, this is sweet and spicy. It's like got the center of the fruity kind of chewy, but the outer edge is just all orange and dusty. Okay, let's go for it. Mm. Mm. Kind of feels like a party in the mouth. But not in a way that feels like super, super hot. Wow, this is fantastic. Woo! Spice is mild and it's cut by this tangy sweetness. I actually think Keith could even handle this. Like we're, we haven't gotten to a level where Keith is dying. It doesn't hurt, it's kind of in the back of the throat. Maybe this will be a try guys first. Maybe Keith will survive the whole video without dying. My eyes are wet and my nose is beginning to run. It's honestly the tartness that's getting me. You ever buy the little fruit leathers at Trader Joe's hoping and expecting that it's gonna taste like fruit by the foot? It doesn't. I feel like some adventurous children would like that. I think Wes could handle it. Pretty much anything that kind of hurts your tongue or your tongue picks up and makes you go, ooh, 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 ooh. It makes me go, ooh. We got the Sovereign Spice Company Carolina Reaper Pebbles. How is a Carolina Reaper item only number four? I feel like a naughty kid who still gets presents for Christmas. I'm not a big rock candy fan to begin with, but I do like spice, so let's see how this is. Whatever spice powder just came out of there in my nose just made me sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why did you sniff them? I wanted to know what they smelled like. Is that enough? Let's do it! Mm. Is that enough? Hey, let's go for it. Is that enough? Okay, let's just go full net and put a whole thing in my mouth. Woo! Let's go! I'm Ned Yale Noggin in science! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Ow. <coughs> Life comes at you fast, but these rock candies, they come at you faster. Oh. Oh my god, that was really bad. 
Oh, it's not going away, it's getting worse. Something with the Carolina and the kind of old timey packaging just makes me feel real dirty south. And you know Florida, we well, make some bad decisions. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's very spicy. <sighs> <laughs> I need milk. I need milk. I made a huge mistake. It's spicy, right? Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, we were having so much fun. Oh, it just dripped. I dropped it. Okay, so my nose is running. I gotta go to the bathroom. Blow my nose. I don't know if I can go any further. My tongue hurts. Oh my god. Those two flavors should not be put together. This tastes a lot like nerds and then just like a coating of spice on top. Oh, that's hot. I'm gonna tell you what, I did not see Zendaya with that one. I just Zendaya'd uh, all over the place. Okay, next up, we have the jelly beans. I'm always a little afraid of jelly beans because you never know what's inside of them. Maybe it's all the Harry Potter I read, but I've always been suspicious. Let's have one. <laughs> oh, my. Jelly beans. Now what bean should I pick? Says a lot about a guy, what bean he goes for. I'm gonna bet on black. Always bet on black. Now if I've learned anything, it's that I should only take one and put it in my mouth. But that's not how I roll, baby. Let's get our asses kicked. All right, let's try it. All right, I'm dubbing. Oh no, why did I do that? It's black licorice. Oh, I chose because of the joke. <laughs> I feel like if I haven't got my ass kicked by now, I ain't gonna. Now spicy yet? Yeah. Ah, they're spicy. Oh, I taste a little bit. Now that I've put a little bit of the jelly bean on a part of my tongue, it's really spicy. I would have thought this was so spicy a minute ago, but now I don't care. Now they suck. I mean, this is nowhere near taking a boot to the face from this jackass. How am I supposed to keep going knowing that number four was like that? But then number five, totally fine. It was just habaneros. Listen to me, just habaneros. That's hot, but not as hot as a reaper. I do have some emergency bread. Let's hope I don't have to use it. Let's move on. These are the pork king good. No, I get it, pork and good. These are pork and good, baby, good. Stupid hot pork rind. You can't try this because you are a puppy and puppies cannot have too spicy food, can they? That's right. Pork rinds are like the savory version of cotton candy. You look at how much mass there is here, right? Guess what? There's actually nothing. As soon as you start eating it, it becomes nothing, just like cotton candy. All right, let's see how stupid hot these are though. Stupid. Delicious. They're very tasty. A little spicy. Ooh. Oh, yes. I don't know, guys. After that rock candy, everything has been pretty bland to me. This is just like a pork rind with a little extra flavor. I could eat this whole bag. I would gladly. I mean, unless you're a vegetarian, pork rinds are like at their core, delicious. Ooh, these got a good kick to them. And like, not so hot that I don't think like Keith could handle this. I really feel like Keith could handle this. Becky doesn't like pork rinds, but these are really good. You guys, it's a spicy pickle. I love, love, love pickles. Pickleback shots, hot dog, everything pickle. I'll just eat pickles plain sometimes. Congratulations. It's a spicy pickle. Smells spicy. Let's try it. Oh yeah, so juicy. Mm, good pickle flavor. Oh, it squirted in my mouth. Mmm. Oh, that's so interesting. Mm. Yeah. Honestly, it just tastes delicious. It tastes like a good pickle, a mild heat. No. I want my pickles to be crispy and hard and small. <laughs> Whatever they did here to make it spicy, I'm getting less spice and more just like old vinegar. In my opinion, the only way to drink pickle juice is a pickleback shot. I'm channeling Eugene for this one because it's a shot of whiskey and then pickle juice as a chaser. Cheers. burned on the way down and then the pickle juice did not help because it was also spicy. Ghost pepper popcorn. Spontaneous combustion. I hate microwave popcorn. I think it sucks. You know, to make it work, you're basically cooking food in plastic that has chemicals in it. I'm just not for it. What if I just skip it? One thing that's fun about my house is we have our microwave 
in a closet. What? In you go. Look at this, we have reusable paper towels. Look at us being eco, eco fam. How are you guys doing? You guys eat any good foods lately? Anything you wanna share? Anything you wanna comment below? Go ahead and text us at this phone number. Okay, so <coughs> the popcorn's done. I don't know, it's creating a crazy aroma. The fumes themselves are spicy, which is crazy. Like when they go into your lungs, it just hits like you're breathing in powder. Like it's almost like you're breathing in the spice powder. <laughs> Look at that. See the little black specks? They gonna mess you up. Bottoms up. Let's pop that corn. Hmm. Buttery. That's good. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Hmm. That's it. So I don't taste it as much at the top of my tongue, but I taste it more when it hits the throat. <coughs> Ooh, now I taste it. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah. Hey Ariel, I know you like popcorn. Do you want to try some of this spicy popcorn? This was delicious popcorn. And it's like, oh, that tastes normal. And then all of a sudden, there's a little bomb that comes <laughs> off in your throat. It's not too bad. Oh, oh no. Get out of here with your <laughs> Okay, yeah. All right, she doesn't like it. Do you want another one? No. The Paqui Haunted Ghost Pepper. Real peppers, real heat. See? Form factor, simple. It's just a chip. But spice level, they say it's freaking hot. That's how I describe my wife. I feel like if this is gonna try to be spicy, another great prank to playing your friends. It looks like a Dorito. Maybe it tastes like a Dorito. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Oh no. I'm not getting much heat from this. Oh, it tasted like nothing and then all of a sudden it was there. Oh, oh, there it is. Why? It's oddly pleasant. It almost feels like a warm internal blanket. My ears are warm, like inside my ears. I feel like if I cotton swabbed them, all the wax would be out. I was disappointed that we weren't gonna get it, but. Ooh, we got it! Maggie, do you wanna try this? Do you like spice? Oh. <laughs> Some of these other items, it's like throwing a fireball at an opponent, while this one is just slowly roasting them over fire alive. I feel like these are for people who like- It's a challenge. Want to hurt themselves. Yeah. Oh? Huh? Yeah, if you reach for that at a party, you would be upset. It's not as spicy as it should be. I'm a little mad that number four is so hot and all these are just fine. Like, this is hot. Don't get me wrong. Easily the hottest thing on the table, other than the candy. We're supposed to be escalating in spice levels. And this is, uh, this is not as spicy as I want it to be. I thought it'd be spicier. I thought this would be really spicy. Can you believe this? We're at the end. Keith has made it all the way to the end. But now we are going into the Carolina Reaper jerky. This is 2.2 million Scoviles. That's a lot of Scoviles. Warning, this jerky is made with the hottest peppers on earth. You can actually see the particles of peppers on there. Let's have milk on standby. We're out of strawberry popsicles, but we do have frozen strawberries. I'm very afraid. Oh, he bad. Let me get ya. Four, five, six seeds in a little cluster. That's just evil. I'm gonna try to knock these seeds off of it. I don't need that. I'm just gonna need this whole thing. I'm gonna try and find a seedless bite. I don't think that's gonna make a difference. I have to do this. It's for the fans. You came here to see us get hurt, and we're gonna do that for you. Just a nibble, just a nib, just a nib. Three, two, one. Beef hits you first, spice is gonna take a sec. <coughs> oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. I'm like, Zuko over here, Princeton, now oh, on fire. Uh. Now maybe I just didn't get enough reaper, so we're gonna put a whole lot of beef jerky on this sandwich. I shoot it only on the right side of my mouth. So only the right side of my mouth, my throat is so hot. Yeah, let me get those seeds. Yes, good, good. Oh, here comes the nose drip. Oh my God, oh my God, why the jerky, why? This last one, if I'm feeling it, I feel like Keith has to feel a little bit of spice. Ah. Oh my god, what's that? All right, here we go. Oh my god, my nose is dripping so much. Oh, it tickles. Why the f would you... <coughs> See the sweat? Let's get a sweat check. Shining bright like a diamond. A spicy diamond in the sky. Whoa, now we got a little nose run meaning 
You know it's spicy. I'm gonna say a bold statement right now. This was just as hot as the jerky, but I feel like it lingered longer. This guy, He's currently stealing my soul. Send help. <laughs> you know, I think people look hot when they're sweaty. Zach always says he's like, some people look hot when they're sweaty, some people just look like they're drowned rats. I look kind of like him, I look like I'm a drowned poodle. Spicy snacks, all about having fun. Let your bliss be your guide. Get out there, wreck your tongue and your body. Mm, what did we learn? Takis are great, Mexico's great, everyone else can f and suck a butt. Everything else sucks. That's what I learned today. Uh, and also that the Cheeto guy is, is hot and that, you know, he can get it. Thanks for tuning in to the trial, guys. Make sure you subscribe. And if you don't like stuff that's too spicy, why don't I recommend Keith's chicken sauce? And not too hot sauce for chicken and other stuff. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try, guys. Keep trying. See you next time. I see her. She's Zendaya. She's beautiful. Excuse me.